video we will discuss uh, some parameters about a domestic distribution transformer here with us is a domestic distribution transformer and uh, this transformer as you can see it had been brought for the maintenance and the chain you can see which is hung uh, from the chain block and this is actually to open up the machine and bring it off of the transformer tank uh, so here is uh, this transformer uh, nameplate you can see uh, which is very common for each and every transformer and they have written some parameters first you can see the Barak power transformer this is the manufacturer uh, for the um, transformer as you can see and here is some man manufacturing model number they have given uh, over here the manufacturer and here you can see this is the rating power which is written 200 kilovolt ampere 200 kva of course and this is not in kilowatt so here is the input or primary voltage which is 11000 and the secondary voltage is of course 415 volt so here is the frequency which is standard 50 hertz and here is the current for the primary which is 5.573 ampere uh, low current for the primary side and the secondary side very high current 279.35 ampere something like that uh, secondary side current is high and this is of course three phase three phase in primary and three phase in secondary mm, so here is the weight for the total weight for the transformer has been mentioned mm, these are some weight calculation uh, weight parameters they have given actually uh, for the machine and for the oil and for the total they have given for the lifting up actually this information they are normally giving mm, so these are the parameters for the wing of this transformer and here some connection detail has been mentioned you can see mm, so this is the connection detail and here is of course you can see the year of the manufacturing for this transformer uh, while the transformer is manufactured in the factory they are mentioning the manufacturing date and this is the impedance tolerance which is five percent it means that if you there is a change in the load so five percent change will come in the supply because there is a load impedance mm, so this is on type uh, cooling you can see oil and natural here these this radiator pipes these radiator pipes you can see they are bringing the hot oil to, to from the top to the bottom and natural air is cooling this radiator and in turns the oil is cooled and going down and down and then from the downside it is entering to the transformer tank and this is occurring all the time uh, so here they have given some details and here is the detail for the tape changer the tape changer is actually a device which is connected to the primary side of the transformer and we can change the voltage uh, through this device the secondary voltage we can change if we change the tape in the primary side of the transformer uh, so you can watch my other videos in which i have discussed the voltage changer or the tape changer in uh, detail so here is the connection detail which is star in the primary side and of course um, the star in the secondary side and of course the delta in the primary side so this is 200 kva this is written the transformer is normally mentioned in kva and not in kilowatt because the transformer manufacturer doesn't know what type of load you are going to apply on this transformer so that's why they are giving in kilovolt ampere rating so here in this case is 200 kilovolt ampere uh, they are not mentioning it in kilowatt because for the kilowatt you need power factor and power factor is normally for the loads that's not for the transformers not for the sources uh, transformer is acting like a source it's not a load so that's why it is in kilovolt ampere so this is normally is the question people are asking why transformer rating is in kva and why not it is in kilowatt so this is the answer some people are give, giving some very different answers like they are saying that there are some losses copper losses iron losses this loss and that loss i don't know which kind of losses they are explaining and so that's why it is not in terms of kilowatt and that's why it is in kva something like that but the real answer is the manufacturer have no idea about the power factor so that's why it is in kva and not in kilowatt so keep in mind uh, the answer for this question uh, anybody can ask you these questions are normally asked in interviews so you must have some knowledge about this uh, so this transformer as you saw i have 
explained each and everything for such a machine uh, so hopefully you would understand each and every detail for this one here are the primary the primary terminals the bushings Mm, and this bushing you can see this is for the HT side and HT is connected and through these bushings this is insulator actually uh, so water cannot enter and also uh, 11 kV is applied so it needs a very good insulation otherwise a corona could occur from the top side to the bottom of the transformer which is of course grounded uh, these are the secondary bushing as you can see the insulation level is very very much small compared to primary uh, so these are containing actually some 415 volts so these are four in numbers there is a neutral and there are three phases so this is secondary uh, secondary is connected in star and here is this uh, tape changer device underneath uh, this uh, nut you can see there is a covering this is covering actually underneath there is a tape changer uh, but instead you we can change it from here even if we open this screw and then we can change it through some uh, handle or some SST the special service device we can change the taping inside the transformer uh, so these are the details here you can see this is broken this insulator proper side insulator is broken sometimes this is the case and here is another device which is uh, the surge arrestor of course if voltage is coming very very much big quantity of voltage sometimes surges are coming so it is grounded from here because the upper is connected to potential and the lower is connected to the ground this upper is connected to the potential and lower is connected to the ground so this higher voltage is uh, jumped is current is jumping through this air gap um, so these, these were the details and here is one vision glass they have given for the oil level so while it is clear now it is not clear so while it is cleared so oil you can see from the outside that oil is there in the transformer uh, so I'm hoping that you understood each and every detail for this transformer uh, stay tuned keep watching my videos uh, subscribe and share with your friends hope you enjoyed this video and learned something.